What's up, my non-existent viewers? I'm back after a lot of time. And in this video, I'm gonna run a program for one week, which is by Jeffrey Variety Schofield. The program's name is Ravage. You might wonder who is Jeffrey Variety Schofield. So this guy right here claims to be nine years plus natural and looks like so unnatural. So let's begin. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by the app or GVS himself because I got 200 subscribers, bro. Who cares, right? Brother, brother, who, cares? who cares? Who cares, brother? Who cares, brother? And the sole purpose of making this video is for beginners because this program or this app is completely free. So it was a six day program, and day number one was leg day. Leg day started with Smith Machine hack squats, one set of 5 to 10 reps, RPE 7 to 8, and two sets of higher reps and RPE 7 to 8, still. After that, there was back extension, two sets, but I do not have the back extension machine in my gym, so I just did some good mornings, two sets, 8 to 15 reps. And after that, there was walking lunges, 20 to 30 reps. Workout number four was seated hamstring curl. Unfortunately, I do not have access to seated hamstring curl as well, and I just switched it with lying hamstring curl. There's nothing wrong with that, I guess. And day two was torso day. It's where you train back and chest at the same time, and it started with closed grip bench press, supersetted with neutral grip pull downs. I did both of these for 3 sets, 8 to 12 rep range. So the next exercise was reverse grip smith machine press. And I just like to focus more on upper chest so I switched it to incline smith machine press. And you have a superset with wide overhand pull downs. Both 2 sets. Moving on to the next exercise. It was cable crossover supersetted with one arm machine row. And the next thing was standing cable pullovers one set till failure. And here is me checking the pump. It's usually on chest and back day, you get the most amount of filthiest pump. So bro day is something he refers to as an arm day, plus a day where you can focus on your weakest part of your bodies. So first of all, it starts with hammer curl. I did 20 kgs of two sets and you have to uh, superset it with tricep push downs. Moving on to the second exercise, you have to do incline dumbbell curls and you have to superset it with standing overhead extensions. And exercise number three is cable lateral raises, two sets of 15 reps. Exercise number four is upright barbell row. So this is also two sets and it's done. Broda is done for day three. So day number four was again leg day and I had to leave the hamstring works on this leg day because I caught a left hamstring injury. So leg day started with squats, two sets of squats, heavy squats. And after that, there was hip thrust. Of course, there was hamstring works, but I had to leave those out. And after that, there was leg extension. It was a pretty quick leg day for me but I had to do it anyway. Moving on to the fifth day, it was torso day and it started with incline bench press. I did two sets of 10 reps and you have to superset it with wide neutral pull downs. And after that you are supposed to do chest press with Helms rows. So this Helms rows thing is was really complicated for me. I never did that in my entire life and this was the first time I was doing helm zeros and it felt weird so I switched it with another back movement in the next set. And after that 
you have to do seated shoulder press. Now, first four days of the program, I thought like, this program is lacking on shoulders or vertical pressing, but this one I got a shoulder press and I was happy about that. And you have to superset it with seated cable rows. And done. Day number five is done. So day number six, last day of the week, was bro day. Which started with hammer curl. I did two sets, one with 20 kgs, one with 17. 12 reps and 15 reps. And you have to superset it with leaning over a tricep extension, which is also two sets. And after that, you gotta do bicep curls, normal barbell bicep curls. And you could see me curling air there. <laughs> you have to superset it with tricep pushdown. There, you move on to the shoulder section. Dumbbell lateral raise, right? seated or standing, your choice. Two sets or three sets, whatever you like. And then, after that, there is exercise number four, which is Lou raises. And uh, there was cable, rear delt, fly, which I forgot. I did some neck flexion and wrist flexion at the end. And the workout is finished. Well, as you can see, I haven't done the whole nine week of this program. I've only done one week. That puts me in a position where I cannot judge, but I still will. So, well, I'm a nobody, I'm not a trainer, I'm nothing, but I do have two to three years of training experience, which apparently matter. So I'd say this program is good for somebody who's willing to go to failure limiting his session in the gym under 40 minutes or but I'm a push-pull leg engineer. it was kind of tough for me to connect through muscle groups in those supersets and you know chest and backs at the same time but bro day was good that can go wrong bro day was good arm day it's always good I'd say that I might incorporate a bro day into my push-pull leg routine I do need some good arms and shoulder day. <laughs> and by the way, a subscribe would definitely help me to put another interesting video on this channel.